And I will not, I tell you, I will not persecute people based on the public pressure. Prosecutor General Mafa Imalwa has admitted that the JIPF saga has resulted in the loss of over 660 million Namibian dollars in taxpayers' money due to a lack of evidence and reminds the public that they are also human beings. Now, that is what happens in the GIPF matter. It's regrettable. We are also Namibians. We are also members, people who contribute to their pensions. It's in the GIPF. It's a regrettable situation. The money, more than 600 million, as it has been alleged, got lost in the process. However, to trace where the money went, it proved problematic during the investigation. Political party leaders and human rights organizations also weighed in on the disappearance of taxpayers' money. Why are we quiet about it? Let's start with the prosecutor general. She must walk the talk. Tell this nation why, why is there no evidence if people have borrowed money and the companies are known, individuals are known, and yet you are telling us you, you are not able to prosecute over 500 million. 600 million that could have serviced urban areas with lighting, that could have given water to people, that could have given sanitation, is going unaccounted for. All the prosecutor general says she has no evidence. It's not something new. We know for a fact that the prosecutor general endorses theft of public funds by select and well connected polit uh, with, and those that are well connected with senior politicians. Unfortunately, if this is the stance that you take, you don't generate a lot of public support. In fact, you become the subject of public condemnation. But that is the truth. Whether you like it or not, Madam Imarwa must be removed from that position in order to restore a sense of legitimacy to the office of the, Pro of the Prosecutor General. And when I say Madam Imarwa must be removed, I don't only say she must be removed alone. She must be removed with her entire team. Some minister's children who were accused of rape, had, the docket is still lying and gathering dust in her office. And we can mention so many other cases where senior politicians were involved, where the police officers conducted the investigation and presented her with these dockets for prosecution purposes. Is she, is she loyal to the office, the oath of office she took, or will she be loyal to those who brought her in and gave her, the, wheelchaired her literally into, the, into that position? Of course, she should be loyal to those who wheelchaired her in the position. And it was not about her being competent, it was about her being the most suitable candidate uh, to protect them. Yesterday she said, if there's anything that comes to her table, she will make sure she prosecutes, right? That's what she said. She, she's a person of integrity. Now, she has her own son who was, there was evidence to prosecute this person, sent him to prison for having raped. Uh, a Namibian uh, woman, you see. This file came to her table. She has not prosecuted. Her son is in China. So it's been almost seven years now. Yeah? And I think the son was probably with one of the minister's sons also. Imawa started as Deputy Prosecutor General in the early 2000s and was later appointed as the Prosecutor General to date. When asked if she overstayed her term, the Prosecutor General said that she applied for the position and went for interviews. And I was not just given the post like that. I applied and went for the interviews. The same with this one. I applied. And I was interviewed by members of the Judicial Service Commission who interviewed everybody. And I, 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 I succeeded. That is how I go to the post. And because of my performance, 
my term was extended. My brother, I don't sit in swap meetings. I supported Swapo when I was in exile. The way in which such cases are being dealt with has come under heavy scrutiny, including efficiency at the office of the Prosecutor General.